Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, dude, this is awesome. This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Yes. If I'm going to be colliding head first into rocks, I think I should know. You'll first start off at the falls. Use left to move left or right and score coins. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be a coin game. Okay. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Oh, I see. Along the way, there are a few holes. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go. He's oddly optimistic about this shit. Oh, dude, there's a spring over there. I had to mash like a motherfucker to get that. Nope. I'm not gonna be able to reach those. There's no fucking way. I don't know what the holes do, but I don't want to find out. This is honestly surprisingly tame for rushing down a fucking torrent of water. Also, I don't know why I'm going after the frog coins, but I assume they're really good for certain things. And I want to collect as many as possible if I can. So I'm going to prioritize going after those. Regular coins I can get from battles and all that bullshit. I don't know where all I can get the froggy coins from. Sorry, I'm like straining, mashing, trying to get up this waterfall. You have to like do it an, an absurd amount, I'm not going to lie. Oh, maybe the holes take me to the springs. Maybe the holes aren't bad. Maybe? Are the holes bad? <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen with the hole. Oh, I got a coin! Okay, the holes are good! Damn it, I didn't know the holes were good. Also nailed it, spring called it. I didn't know I was supposed to be fucking going for the holes. I thought I was supposed to be avoiding the holes. Or can the holes be bad and good? It depends. I'm not going to be able to get that one. No matter how hard I mash, I'm not getting that top coin. Not giving up. Yeah. It's going to say there is no limit to how much I will fight this torrent of water for one coin. These shops don't fuck around. It's not like they have membership rewards. Oh, dude, that was cool. My fucking finger hurts, though. Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Okay. Sure. Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Okay. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. Almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you'll lose coins. How do I jump? Okay. Uh, I thought I'd jump there. Okay. Maybe I just gotta do it, like, really early. Yeah, you do gotta do it, like, really early. Oh, damn it. Oh, I see. So sometimes it's optimal to hit the barrels. That was not one of those times where it was optimal. Okay. That is way harder than it looks. Everything is so fast. I got 50 coins? Jesus. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones. Tadpoles Pond got more info on them. You got 50 coins. 
but that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold them for you, okay? Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. I got a Koopa shell. Okay. Look at all these toads. They're so unique. That's so fucking cool. God, this game is fucking awesome so far. I'm adoring this. Like, this is great. I'm so mad at my younger self that I didn't play this before. This game is charming as shit. It's fucking hard, though. Again, it's, like, really difficult. It's definitely not for the faint-hearted. It's difficult. Just stock up on items, because you're gonna fucking need them, that's for damn sure. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. They won't play with strangers, so go and meet the frog sage first. Okay. Well, I just saved. I don't think I need another save block right away. Hey, what's up, X? Is my mic muted? No, my mic's not muted. Your headset's freaking out, bro. Let's see, let's go meet the Frog Sage, I guess. Okay, let's go meet the Frog Sage. My bad. I didn't mean to kill the immersion of this amazingly serene pond. Oh, let me guess, he's the giant thing in the middle, isn't he? Hi, can I help you? Malo, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Bolome, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here! This game is fucking incredible so far, dude. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Well, well, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Okay. Dude, this game is weird, bro. <laughs> Welcome! So you are Mario, yes? I'm the Frog Sage. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. Usually unsolicited advice in bus stations. Or like lying on street corners. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, I see. He's like hanging from a balloon or some shit, huh? Tab holes. Don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Oh, dude. This is so cool. This game is so creative. What, he's an Asian frog sage? Okay. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. Well, he's trying to, like, give us an old war story that we've heard, like, ten times. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep, he's quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Peach is no longer there. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here's what happened. You were rescuing Peach from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him just when you were about to free the princess. You heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. 
Whoosh! Out of the blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Peach are still lost somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Clay Morton, whom you defeated at the Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the Mushroom Kingdom castle. Do you know why it was there? A star, huh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now, more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No, I'm good. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Clay Morton was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mahler, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Malo, my boy, I've kept this from you until now. But you're... not a tadpole. Say what? I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Malo was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely, this child must be from some far-off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Quit whining like a bitch, boy. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Yeah, I guess if I have to. He's provided to be useful so far. Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it's settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. I like this music, too. Very fucking odd music choice, but alright. I like how they just, like, recreate a bridge. That's so cool. This game has a lot of charm and a lot of character to it so far. With the levels, with the animations, with the storytelling, with the characters, it's really, really just great so far. It's fucking peak. It really is. I'm enjoying this as much as I would a Paper Mario game. That's for damn sure. The turn-based combat is also a welcome change. I like that a lot. Okay, let's do this tadpole jumping game. Let's see how bad I am at this shit. Oh, I see. Is that something you compose? No, that's not the right melody. Oh, I see. So he's looking for a song, and then he's gonna steal mine, and he's gonna fucking copyright my work like a dick and take credit for all the shit that I make. Went to the kitchen to make dinner while listening? Did he actually say bitch? No, he didn't. I like ad-libbing things from time to time. It's part of the fun of voice acting characters. Also, just so you guys know, in every game that Mario's in, I make him a colossal douchebag out for his own benefit. He doesn't care about the well-beings and needs of other people. He's just super busy caring about his own shit, pretty much. 
Okay, so we have another level to explore, but I want to go back to Toad Town. And the reason I want to go back to Toad Town is because I don't have any fucking items. I need items if we're going to go on adventuring. And uh, I've been using a lot on a lot of shit so far. So we're going to run back to town real quick so I can hop up on some good stuff. Back to the whole mushrooms and PCP thing. Okay, we have 135 coin of runies. That's quite a few. Give me a fuck ton of mushroom syrup, my big man. Give me a ton of mushrooms, too. I think I said mushroom syrup. That's weird. Who would want to eat mushroom syrup? That sounds awful. That sounds like vomit-inducing. Ready, then. Dude, this little guy's still going strong, like, fucking hours into the game. He's just fucking trucking. I don't know what the hell that kid is on, but I definitely want some. 